when you face the worm and you know death comes. Call upon the banished lightning. Look, okay, I realized that intro didn't really show anything particularly impressive or powerful. I just thought it was a really cool cinematic angle I happened to get and wanted to show you it to begin with. Hello and everyone, welcome today as I show you the best way to make a certain Ash of War absolutely sing. And the song is one of death. It might not chew through bosses with 10k hits a pop, but it is one of the most fun, reliable, and powerful ways to play Elden Ring, especially when we take it to the realm of PvP, where it gets just a little bit ridiculous. See, it stands to reason that anything that lets you just rapidly spam an auto-targeting, massive range, high damaging, above Bolt of Lightning, would turn out to be pretty good when you build for it. And yeah, that is exactly what happens. You may have seen this used against you, you may have used it. But the thing is, it is very uniquely buildable from in that it doesn't scale with faith or anything that you might imagine. It weirdly scales with dex, your pure dex stat. It also completely scales with your weapon AR itself. Which means in order to properly use this to its full potential, you essentially don't have to touch lightning damage, you don't have to touch faith scaling, you don't have to do anything other than choose a really solid dex weapon and go all in in dex. And that results in something really fun, especially if the weapon that you choose is a certain Banished Knight's Greatsword, which you can get from farming said Banished Knights. The easiest one that I found is the one that patrols around the Dragon Quirion Cathedral in Kaelid, very close to the bonfire, and you can go back and forth nice and quick until you actually make it happen. Why this Greatsword? Well, as I just said, the Ash of War that is the subject of today's build is Thunderbolt, and it scales, yes, with weapon AR. And the Banished Knight's Greatsword is a meaty greatsword, and it scales decently well B with dex. It also looks gorgeous, but more than anything, it has a unique uh, two-handed heavy attack, which makes it very special. It shares this attack with a couple of the weapons in game, but it is certainly quite rare. This is a more sweeping, paused, uh, sweeping, pause, sweeping strike that has a lot of range, a lot of damage, a lot of speed, and you can slightly stagger when you do the next attack. When your character holds the greatsword forward in that almost parry-like stance, you can pause just a beat before triggering the next combo, and it makes for some really good quick mix-ups that can really outspeed and kill a lot of the opponents you may find, especially in the realm of PvP. This comes together then, Banished Knight's Greatsword and Thunderbolt to be Banished Lightning, and it's really fun, deceptively simple, but so powerful. I mean, just walking through a level, I know it's just random moot trash enemies, but walking through a level and just kill, 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 lightning, kill, lightning, kill, from miles away, everything, it's unbelievably satisfying, especially when you can then do it to players as well, because the panic rolling when faced with this is real, and it's not like you're weak once it gets down to melee, no, as I said, this is an incredibly strong greatsword, and it really gets the job done, along with having, yes, that very special, unique, and uh, fun, two-handed moveset. So, uh, what actually are we doing to really make this pop off? Well, we've got, of course, the Banished Knight Greatsword, set to Keen, with a load of decks. These are my stats, and um, yeah, I really don't have enough vigor here, but uh, that's kind of where I ended in order to uh, make this work across the board for this build, but you'd probably want some more vigor. I've got the usual Flame Grant Me Strength, the 20% extra AR obviously translates to 20% more damage on the Ash of War, which is uniquely potent. I've got Golden Vow on the little dagger, because I don't have the spare faith to get the full golden vow, so that's all good, an extra 12% damage, and then Talisman Wise, we want our Alexanders for an extra 15% damage, and of course we want our Lightning Scorpion for an extra 12% damage, which you get from this dungeon in Altus Plateau, right here. Yeah, 
lightning. And for the other two talisman slots, basically choose your preference. I like the reduced FP cost, because we can spam it more, and the Dragon Crest to counter the extra damage taken from the Lightning Scorpion. This all comes together then to give you a really solid, well-rounded build. You have a potent ranged, spammable, high damage, quick option that puts a lot of pressure on people and helps you get nice little snipe chunks of damage on bosses. I mean, it's like 1500 a pop. It's not exactly weak here by any means, and that's really, really solid. And then you have really high damage, fast, swirling, swishing attacks on the melee when it comes to that. Basically, you do all of this together and, well, this is where you end up. You can't conceive of what I'm capable of. I'm so far beyond you. I'm like a god in human clothing. Lightning bolts shoot from my fingertips. Oh, and of course, you want your wondrous physic to be that extra lightning damage too. But the thing is, you really don't need all of these buffs for it to pop. One of the things that's really good is, hey, I don't need to put flame on. I don't need golden foul. I don't need my wondrous. I just need this ash of war and a well-built dex weapon, and I'm solid. Like, Guardian Sword Spear, I think, would technically be the perfect weapon here, but I really like this great sword and really wanted to do a build of it, and this kind of just felt right. I've been having so much fun. And the not needing buff thing is very much proven by Mr. <laughs> I'm so clever. I'm going to law of regression you. No! Ow! 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 Why? Stop it! And then he disconnects! The craven coward. Oh! In any case, yeah, that is very satisfying. Oh, a little bonus a tidbit a bit of info is because we're using a lightning-based ability, if you fire this on a watered surface, well, then you get those crackle out lines and it becomes an AoE attack, which is very useful if you're invading anywhere that has water or fighting anything on water. It takes a single target bolt into an AoE, which is incredibly effective. So that's something to keep note of and a nice little subtle bonus of actually using this setup. So yeah, nothing overly complicated, nothing crazy, but genuinely just, and I can't stress this enough, fun. It just feels great to call lightning repeatedly, surging up through your sword and striking down on the enemy, and this is the best way to really make it pop with taking advantage of that maximum dex scaling. And hey, technically speaking, because we don't have anything unique on the weapon, it's just normal keen scaling, you can also weapon buff it too, so technically you you could lightning blade or use Vike's dragon bolt or actually get some extra oomph going on here which makes this even more potent but I wanted to keep it pure for this little spotlight slash display so all being well then I wish you luck using it if you do indeed want to like if you've enjoyed this subscribe and hit the bell for more don't miss future builds tips tricks funny bits and all that good stuff until we meet again then consider supporting the future of this channel on patreon down below it is what keeps us going and it does indeed mean the absolute world a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.